Hello everyone and welcome back to a little bit of random. My name is Amanda and today I have a, a Lush package which was delivered. Um, it does include uh, a few things in it. Two things are regular buys for me for the girls. The others are things I got from some of the new collections that came out in Lush recently. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and we will uh, discover together what's in there. All right, so I have got the box open now, and you can see on top we have a couple bagged items, and then we have a potted item. I'll go ahead and start with the potted item. So this is a staple conditioner in our house. It's called Glory, and it says, Soak up this powerful, curl-friendly fusion of oak, okra gel, nourishing coconut cream, and moisturizing olive oil. And I get the giant container because it does get used up very quickly but I'm hoping this one will last us quite a bit longer I usually get the medium-sized jar and inside this as far as ingredients we have coconut cream okra gel glycerin water fragrance po polyne glycol organic castor oil fair trade olive oil, benzoin resinoid, tangerine oil, lavender oil, gardenia extract. So a lot of those ingredients are very moisturizing to the hair, especially all the oils and butters. And then that tangerine oil is going to clarify your scalp, take away any of that dead skin or dirt. And then the lavender oil will calm it down once it's removed. So it's a, it's a good moisturizing, nourishing conditioner. And that's why it's a staple for us. Okay, I'm gonna save the bagged items for last since I have to pause and open them and then show you all what is in them. Let me try to dig out another bottled or potted item, which will go with this one next. This is Rehab Shampoo, another staple. Um, this one is extremely clarifying for the scalp. It's also nourishing. It has uh, quite a few ingredients that are antibacterial in there. So we use this when we're working outside in the garden or doing things around the house where we're getting really... Uh, sweaty and you know a lot of dust is flying to get that back out of our hair but on the bottle it says get hair into rehab and bring it back to health with clearing I'm sorry cleansing enzymes softening trying to get the camera to focus y'all softening seaweed and scalp toning oils and as far as ingredients in that one we have carrageenan extract so that'll hold the moisture to your hair it's a derivative of seaweed water again fresh papaya juice fresh pineapple juice fine sea salt fresh kiwi juice fresh mango juice cold pressed organic jojoba oil, organic extra virgin olive oil, almond oil, lavender oil, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, juniper berry oil. <laughs> I told you it was a lot of ingredients. Lanola. And that's it. So ex like I said, extremely clarifying, extremely um, nourishing. And definitely excellent if you're going to be doing a lot of that um, heavy duty work. Okay, that is another bagged item. So we'll look at that in a moment. And I do love that Lush is now putting the, uh, the bath bombs, the shower bombs, any of the naked products in these little bags or the glucose wrappers. It does help them not leak onto other problems and create a big mess or melt. So that is... Um, that's definitely an improvement that they've made on their packaging that I really appreciate. Okay, so next is a shower gel. 
and I got this one specifically for my sister. She's never tried it, and I've tried the bath bomb for this scent, Intergalactic. It's really pepperminty and fresh, so I know she'll love it. So I got that for her to try. And the bottle says, cleanse in the cosmos with this sparkling mix of revitalizing peppermint and grapefruit. And the lighting in here is not the best right now, but seeing this in person, it's so blue and sparkly. It's unreal. And that is why they call it intergalactic. I'm trying to get the light to hit it just up. Oh, there we go. See that? The sparkles are to die for, I'm telling you. And against that really night sky blue background, that is beautiful. Look at that. That is beautiful. The light's catching it. Yeah, she's going to dig that a lot. She's not a big sparkle fan, but I think the scent will win her over. And I, I love myself some sparkles. Okay, so ingredients in this one, we have glycerin, water, fresh mint infusion, calcium, lactate, gal glyconate, fine sea salt, lactic acid, peppermint oil, grapefruit oil, velv I'm sorry, vetiver oil, cedar wood oil, titanium dioxide. So with that uh, vetiver oil and the cedar wood oil, uh, that bright mint peppermint sweetness is going to be given a earthy, more woodsy vibe. She definitely loves her woodsy scents too. So I really think she's going to dig that. All right, and then uh, the naked product of the bunch. So I'll go over that in a moment here. We'll set that to one side. And let me see if I have anything else other than this big bottle. Okay, so I did get two of the community perfumes. Um, I opened the last one in and I can go grab it from my shelf but I had a parcel come before this that just had the perfume in it and it was the lemony futter if you've ever had that product it's their cuticle butter that Lush does they've made a community pick perfume out of it and they also made one out of this grape soda scent and if I remember correctly this is the same scent that was in the mother Day, mother's day scrub I reviewed on the channel about two videos back uh, that was the one that was called These Old Songs Are Walking, and I really love that body scrub. It was amazing smelling, so I felt, well, you know, why not get the perfume so I can smell like that all year round? Uh, so that is what it looks like. And then when we, once I read you the description and the ingredients, I will do a spritz, and I will let you know what I think of the scent and how it compares. Okay, so body spray the snap of a can the pop of sweets syrup sweet syrupy joy fresh fizzy notes quench your thirst for the hot summer days of childhood All right and then those are the ingredients but my camera's not focusing tonight so i will sorry about that i'm in the office today so i'll go ahead and read that off to you all but it is water, fragrance, glycerin, lem I'm going to take a stab at this word and say limoni, limoni, juniper berry oil, sweet wild orange, lanola, and that is it. Okay, so I'm going to pause so I can spritz and then I'll let you know what I think. All right, so I did go ahead and spritz. And now with any Lush perfume, because there's so many natural ingredients in it, you do want to let it kind of hit the air, dry down. When I first sprayed it, I instantly got like grape syrup, um, that grape syrup they're talking about. To me, it reminds me of grape scented cough syrup. Um which wasn't the most pleasant smell of my life growing up, but that's why I say you have to let it dry down because any Lush perfume, when you first spray it, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. It's so deeply condensed. But then 
dries down, the air hits it, it and it evens out. It brings out those bottom notes that come with it. And it definitely becomes a more floral grape soda. So I'm still getting that grape syrupy smell. No more um, cough syrup, which is awesome because I don't want to be reminded of that. But definitely more on that floral side. And I'm getting the orange now as well. Yeah, I would say this kind of... If you've ever smelled olive branch from Lush, think of that, but with a grape roundness to it. So it's got like that olive branch orange smell to it, that um, uh, orange blossom, so the flower, which is giving it that floral note. And then you've got the grape running through. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. A nice summer scent, I would say. All right, so that's all for the box. So I am going to take my packing slip out of there so I can read you guys about all the naked products. And I'm going to pause and set this aside. Alrighty, everyone. So I do have four bags here and then our one naked product. Now, these four bags are all the same product. So I'm going to move three of them to the side off camera because I know what they are now that I'm remembering this order. And we'll just go, I'll show you the one, and then we'll go over the naked product. Okay, so I'm going to grab my paperwork here really quick. Alrighty, so naked product. We have, this is the Lava Block uh, Bath Bomb. This was a release for the new um, Minecraft collab that happened with Lush. I'll be honest, I don't like Minecraft. That might be controversial. I... When I play a video game, and I've played a lot in my time, I like video games that have a goal, a mission, um, some purpose I'm working towards. I know that my the later Minecraft games have given you those more mission story modes, but I just have a bad taste in my mouth from when I was a kid and all you did was build things like that. I've never been like the Tonka Toy, Lincoln Logs, um, you know, Builder type of girl. I've always, I've always liked those games where I can get a backstory of a character, bring them through their growth arc, uh, level them up, gain powers, you know, you get what I'm, you get what I'm going for here. I'm not going to keep rambling about it, but, but I love this collab for the variety and the types of products and the smells that they added with them. So for that reason, I definitely ordered more than I should have from it. This is the only piece that's coming in this order. My other order will be here shortly. It was backlogged, but that'll be the rest of the Minecraft collab, and I'll go through that with you all as well, as always. Okay, so as I said, this is called the Lava Block Bath Bomb, and ingredients, in, and this is one of their jelly bombs. So Lush did jelly bombs a couple years back. They weren't as successful as the company wanted them to be. If you don't like textures in your bath, you will not like this. So I would say avoid it at all costs. I'm the person that I like flowers in my bath. I like the little floaty bits. Um, so it doesn't bother me, but I know that's not for everyone. But these are jelly. So these are going to have carrageenan extract, meaning when they hit the water, they're going to fizzle, but they're going to leave a layer of carrageenan um, on the top of the water. So when you get in, it feels like you're dipping yourself into Mm, I'm going to say the consistency of like grape jelly. So it won't be as stiff as grape jelly, but it's going to have like that. It's going to have a feeling of like a, a jelly, a slime. Slime's a horrible word to add to this, but it's going to have that feeling on the top of the water. And then once you're in the water, of course, then it's just water. But the, the purpose of the jelly bombs is to moisturize your skin um, and hold that moisture to you while you're taking the bath. So when you get out, you don't need any lotion or you shouldn't need any lotion. Um, you shouldn't need any moisturizer. You're just done from being in the bath. So I get the draw from there and I do enjoy their jelly products and their slime products. So they, like I said, those textures don't bother me. Uh, but ingredients we have sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, sodium alginate, Excuse me, just getting over a little bit of a cold here too if I sound kind of nasally. Cornstarch, popping candy, so it's going to simulate like real lava. Sicilian lemon oil, 
bergamot oil, jasmine absolute. I, I'm a jasmine girly to my heart. Anything jasmine I love. So that's going to be an awesome smell profile for me. Uh, paprika. <laughs> that one's funny. I Not too many of their products have paprika, but that, that's awesome for the color. That's going to be really cool in there. Um, water. Deproline glycol. Oh, I probably pronounced that so wrong. Sodium cocoa sulfate. And a couple other bits, you know, colors, those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, so that is the Lava Block Bath Bomb. It is beautiful though, and it does remind me of like flowing lava. So I can't even um, say anything about that. The design is right on. Mine's a little, you know, worse for wear, of course. Uh, but that happens. I live in a hot state. It doesn't affect the bath bombs as much, but just getting jostled around in the package kind of made this guy a little bit um, broken up there. But I'll use him all the same, believe me. All right, I'm going to pause, open up the bag here, and I'll show you what's inside. Well, so last and final product, and this is a solid body wash. Now, it's not a soap, so it's not as hard as a soap, and you can see as I'm squishing it here it has give to it um and that's because it's more of a marshmallow texture but what lush does is these and i call them you know lovingly i call them face marshmallows because i use these to wash my face specifically I don't use them on my body i just pinch off a little chunk like i do a cleanser and i wash my face with it the the um the ingredients in these guys, I don't know, it just, it reacts really well with my cystic acne. So I buy, as you can see, a lot of, I usually buy a lot of them when they come out. And they come out a couple times a year usually. Um, it's been, they've had a mango one in the past. They've had um, this one, which is Keep It Fluffy, one of my favorite, favorite smells from Lush. It's Marshmallow Rose. Oh, and I'm not a rose person by any means, but mixed with that marshmallow root that the other floral fragrances in there, that sweet vanilla going through. Oh, it's just, I love this smell. This is beautiful. If they brought out this product line from years ago and all their um, products again, and I know the UK has the Keep It Fluffy perfume. We can't get it here in the US right now, but I'm hoping for it to come back because I will buy it. But... <clears throat> Yeah, this is this is one of my favorite smells that that Lush does. Like and you know, there's not this one Karma, I love the Karma range. Um Intergalactic, I love the Intergalactic range. Uh my sister loves the Dirty Spring Wash. That's the shower gel, but she loves the Dirty range. That's the like the scent family. Um I'm trying to think. I love the Cinders range. Um Sleepy, I really like the Sleepy range. Uh, uh, golden egg, so that um more of the foody side of things, posh chocolate. So those kinds of smells I like, but this is this is very beautiful. So I got four of them, and then in my next order I got four more of them. Um, and as I said, I just store these up for the year, and this is my face wash. So then I'm not buying so much of the medicated stuff. This is more of a natural way to control my acne than all that medication. I don't like to use a lot of medicated products on my skin. I never did. Um, my skin tends to get used to them. And then when I don't have them, it, my skin just, it's horrible. It's a horrible thing. So yeah, I just store those up for that. They're very squishy. And you just break off a piece like this. So it breaks off very easily, as you can see. I would say that it's kind of a cross between a marshmallowy texture and a bubble gum. So like when you stretch your bubble gum after you've chewed it a little bit. Again, horrible, horrible reference, but it fits the bill for the texture. Um, but yeah, and you just, I take that little piece, I wash my face with it, I put it back in the little baggie. And, you know, I go from there. You do want to st store these in either a airtight container or a baggie because they will dry out and it becomes like, having a solid soap they they get very hard uh they lose some of their um bubbliness so they don't they don't uh, soap up as well so yeah definitely dry dry environment for these guys uh or i'm sorry not dry airtight airtight environment for these guys or they will dry out and be you know a waste unfortunately all right well that's all i have for you all thank you so much for joining me today um 
Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I plan on doing more of my unboxings because I've gotten a couple things from collabs recently. I will demo these products that is always on my channel, either in a short, um, if it's a, you know, a product like this or in a full length video, if it's a bath bomb or bubble bar demo. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and you continue watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye now.